I feel like the master of the universe, weird, really ugly, he stink, his breath was stinking so bad and I'm like wow so on top of being delusional you're fucking stupid, you imagine you're dancing and you turn around and the guy's like roof 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 my friend and I were in VIP with two guys, everything was fine until one of them farted Salut! Hi everyone, I hope you are doing amazing. I am M in the city and if you don't know me, I'm here on social media just talking about my life as a stripper because I used to be a stripper since spilling the tea on the industry but also beauty, lifestyle, vlogs and just yeah life in general because I had a crazy life experience. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back and if you haven't done it already, please 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 subscribe. I am finally monetized on YouTube. Yes, I finally made it. So please just a little subscribe, click the button and a little like and a comment. Even if you just leave me a heart, really, really help the algorithm. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helped me out big time. On today's video, I thought, why not? Let's get ready together. Let's do my makeup because I have loads of videos to film today. Today is like filming day. So let's get ready together. And while I'm getting ready, telling you all the crazy stripper stories out there, I kindly ask my followers and my friends to send me their crazy stripper stories and they were kind enough to share them with me so I am gonna share them with you so let's go all right my skin is already prepped uh, because this morning I woke up at like 6 30 I was like yeah I'm full of motivation it's early I woke up on my own you know I was like yeah let's do this and then my boyfriend left and I went back to bed so but I already prepped my skin before so all I do in the morning I use a water like this one you don't have to use oven you can use any of water i spray it because you know you already wash at night if you've got sensitive sensitive skin like mine you don't want to overdo things so i just use a cotton pad and remove like you know the excess oil in that and just use a basic cream because my skin was very ir irritated at the moment i'm using tretin oil so i'm back to basic i am as you can see oh the light is too much i am breaking out but the redness is down so it's like really hard for me to tackle everything anyway Skin is prepped already. So to start my makeup, I'm using the Merit Stick Foundation. I used to use the Estee Lauder Foundation, which is one of the best if you've got oily skin, it's really stay all day, but like my pores are literally out of control at the moment. So I have changed and I found this one, apparently it's not comedogenic, there's not like too much crap in it. And it's like a stick foundation, so it's not liquid, it's not powder, it's like sort of creamy. And I think when you start to age, this is actually really good. So this is what I'm gonna use today. I usually don't use so much, I just use like a few stripes, but because I'm filming, I wanna look good. So yeah, I'm using quite a lot. I wanna look camera ready, if that makes sense. And I always spray. Because it, it's got like a more natural finish, if that makes sense. So I spray and then I blend. Okay, so while I'm doing this, let me start with my crazy stripper story. In another video, I will tell you crazy stripper story, but good ones, with good client. This one, let's start with the negative one, with a shitty client. So let's start. One day, I was in a club. I'm not really going to say which club, when and that, because, you know, I don't want to like put the club in shits and that. One day... All the girls and I waiting in the main area, you know, where you wait, where you wait when there is the stage and that. Waiting for people to come in. It was quiet, a dead night. And finally, one guy walked in. And when he walked in, literally bought like so many bottles of champagne. Sometimes they do that. They don't want to dance. But he bought so many bottles of champagne. And then he wanted all the girls to sit with him, which we all did. And I don't like to do this because I don't want to sit with someone if he's not like proper pain. Because two bottles of champagne for like seven, eight girls, I'm going to get what, like 30 quid, you know? And it's like, I don't want to sit forever with a guy just to get paid like 30 quid. I was acting so arrogant. And literally he was saying things like, oh, I feel like the master of the universe, weird. And then... He wanted, so we were all like trying to go downstairs, either all go together or pick one girl, you know, like make up your mind. But some guys love to do this, like he wanted us to be in competition and he was like, okay, you all gonna go on stage and then I'll pick the best dancers. And it's so unfair on dancers that don't really know how to do poor tricks, aka me. Lots of girls don't know how to do this and it's very uncomfortable like to be judged like that, like we're on the X Factor, you know, and it's a bit like shit. And I literally left, I was like, I'm not doing this. So yeah, he literally, he wanted to be like the master of the universe and all of us to compete uh, between us. And, and yeah, and just like stroke his ego. 
I don't have time for this guy, this kind of character. You know, like, even if it's tripping, I know it's fake and that I sort of like, if it's just for one dance, I don't care. But if it's to spend time with someone, I'd rather like have it with a nice guy. I know I'm not meant to think like that, but like, I don't have the energy anymore. It, this is what I quit. But yeah, even like last year, I didn't have the energy to spend time with shitty people. I'm done with the foundation. I really, I really enjoyed this foundation. I don't know if you can see on camera. But like, I know it's not perfect, but I don't have a beauty filter or whatever. You know when loads of like YouTuber in France and they show you, oh, look at this, it's amazing. They always have a beauty filter. There's no filter. Let me show you at like, oh, the sunlight. I, I'm actually loving it. It doesn't feel greasy enough. All right, story number two. So for contour, I'm just going to use the Bare Mineral uh, Bare Pro Stick. I don't use that much. So usually I use a powder, but like today I want to be a bit more adventurous. So I literally just put like a tiny bit, really not a lot. A bit here just right there and on my lid all right so story number two another like a crazy guy so, uh, it was my first club and it was a guy that like literally booked me for hours like literally like proper hours he was not mean he was not bad anything but like at some point they're a bit too delusional again i know it's my job i should not moan blah 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 but sometimes it's like wake up he was really really ugly i'm sorry to say but i'm gonna say it really old really ugly he stink his breath was stinking so bad i can't stand like come on guys if you come to a strip club be clean like we spend hours hours getting ready looking good for you the minimum you can do is have hygiene anyway he stinks he was like come on tell me your name tell me your name and he, kept, he just kept saying things like i know you want me to i know you want to be my girlfriend i know you want to be with me and then i was like oh my god you've got such a level of delusion it's like mad mate and then he was like, I know you told me your real name last time. I was like, oh, did I? When I never did. And I was like, you, I was like, so what it is? He was like, come on, tell me. And I said, Emily. And Emily is not my real name. And he was like, yes, I remember Emily. He was like, you told me last time. And I'm like, wow. So on top of being delusional, you're fucking stupid. My crazy, my crazy story is bad stories. I'm not that bad, to be fair. I don't think I ever had someone bad. Because I really, like, choose them. We blend the eye. Ah, uh, next story. Now we're on powder, but I forgot my sponges to do my powder. But we let the powder sit, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do the eyes. So another crazy person of mine. I mean, not crazy, but it was just a bit like unusual in that. So it was a guy in my last club, uh, really nice, really polite, a guy from New York, I think. He was in a relationship for a very long time, and. He couldn't tell his girlfriend that he liked to be um, dominated. And to be fair, I am not the kind of dancer that I do that. To me, it's not my job. To me, I'm a dancer. I'm not here to dominate you, insult you, things like that. But, you know, it was a really date night and I was like, why not? He didn't ask me anything crazy. But he literally just want me to tell him like he didn't deserve me he didn't deserve to dance for him he was crap i'm waiting my word it was way rude and that and he wanted me to tell him like loads of like things like that and i felt bad for him because i'm like how he was in a relationship with his girlfriend for quite a long time and i'm like how come after so long you are with someone you can't be genuine with you can't tell like your fantasy your desire and things like that i think that's really shit if you are with someone you should be able to be your true self and not lie about who you are your past and things like that now we're gonna use the highlighter do you know what, guys i'm gonna finish my makeup and then i'm gonna tell you the other dancers crazy stories tip and literally just a tiny bit and then a bit on the corner so for Mascara, I just use like a basic Rimmel mascara. For my lips, I'm always using the NYX lip liner. I'm using a brown color on the outside for the contour. For the inside to fill in, I am using the color Toulouse always. And then I found this amazing lip oil. So it's so much better than gloss. Gloss is sticky and that. This hydrates your lips. I just bought it like on Amazon. Really nice. I'm using the blush number seven color. Uh, Peaches. So, so good. Rosy cheeks. And the eyebrow. I'm just using this NYX uh, brow thing. So let me do this. And then I'll get back to the video.
trick at the end spray water again i know people go like really expensive like setting spray but like most of your setting spray is just water so save your money and just buy water all right guys i am ready i mean approximately i went on my hair i'm still in my pj but hey comfy let's carry on the stories i am just struggling to film here i'm not at my house i'm at my boyfriend's house i moved there and the lighting where i am is not good i mean it's really sunny it's an open space but the way the windows are it's sort of killing my light so i don't know how it looks but i don't think it looks that great Here's what it is okay let's carry on the story and now i'm going into my followers and friends stories so let's dig in one day i was in vip with a guy and he kept asking me to slap him harder and harder and walk on his balls with it, with my heels yeah like i told you we've got this kind of a specimen coming nothing wrong with that you into what you into but i just don't understand why you're coming to a dollar chip club why don't you go straight away to a woman that can do that or like have a partner that can do that why do you want to go to a dollar chip club personally some girls don't mind personally i do mind because i don't think that's what i'm being paid for but hey okay next story one regular took me and my friend in VIP and all he wanted was to play with our... I'm going to say the word peaches because I'm not sure about YouTube and the word B-U-M. Um, like with pizza dough and he was calling us Supress Mistress all night long. I think some people instead of going to Dollar Chip Club they need to like go to therapy. I'm going to therapy, nothing wrong with therapy but I think there is some underlying thing going on when you want to call people like that. But anyway... Please don't get offended. I understand that some BUM pitches can be nice to play with, but personally, I wouldn't like that. Um, unless it's my boyfriend and he does that all the time. Anyway, next story. Not particularly weird or rude, but I have loads of like people, I mean, guy that want to lick or touch my feet. Yeah, we get that a lot at the Dollar Tree Club. We get people that are really into feet one more time i don't say why don't you find like a special website for that or a person that wants to do it but hey some girls don't mind uh, i think i did that once a guy didn't want to dance he just wanted to like play with my feet oh my god i finally found an angle and a good lighting jesus christ i was going crazy i could not do this damn video but it's fine i believe the light is decent now <laughs> oh jesus all right, let's carry on the stories. Okay, this one is a good one. A woman in VIP with her friend kept talking shit about me to her friend, thinking I couldn't hear, but I was hearing everything. She kept saying I was ugly and flat-chested. I do not understand when women are coming to the strip club to trash us. Like, girls, life is hard enough. If we don't empower each other and help each other out, how do you want men to respect us if we don't respect each others? Like, explain to me, like, if you feel insecure to go into a strip club and it's to trash the girls, don't come. Like, seriously, if I feel uncomfortable somewhere, I would not go. And it's the same with girls with their partner that are coming. I don't understand. And actually, this was one of a really bad client of mine. I forgot his story. She chose me and she was sort of a regular, but like a weird regular. She chose me. She gave me my ticket because some clubs, they give you a ticket to go VIP, whatever. And once upstairs, she was like, you're going to kiss me, right? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to kiss you um obviously not like that i was like no sorry i can't kiss you right she was like is it because you don't want to i'm not your type or because you're not allowed and i was like in my head i was like fucking both uh everything you know and she was like well i'm gonna pick a less stuck up girl and it's crazy because we always complain about men being disgusting and that blah blah but like women act also like that and i'm like it doesn't help our name you know like it doesn't help us to get better in society if women don't start first how do you want like men to follow does that make sense so please girls if you don't feel comfortable coming to a strip club or if you can't be nice it's the same treatment for everyone men women alien whatever respect the girls and calling another another girl like flat chested and ugly is really not nice and i had that as well when i was on stage and then i'm like you know, model yourself, and it's usually girls that are really not pretty themselves. Okay, next story. Um, my friend and I were in VIP with two guys. Everything was fine until one of them farted, and it smelled so bad, <laughs> and the entire room stink. Oh my god, I hate when this happens. This is so gross. I guess some people can't help it. I don't know. Trying to help yourself, you know. Even the girls sometimes, you know, when we dance, it can happen. Our stomach hurt, but we hold it, you know, because I'm not gonna do that to you so yeah i don't know like if you can't handle your drink if you can't handle your food i don't know go to the bathroom have you know you're a grown adult it's disgusting we spend hours 
getting ready, smelling good, brushing our teeth, doing our hair, makeup, and that will look glam. So please don't fart on us. Please. And if you feel like you need to go to the bathroom, just go. But yeah, that's so embarrassing when things like that happen. I was dancing for a guy when suddenly he started throwing up everywhere. Oh, that also happened. It happened to me a lot. But thank God I can catch it on time. I can see that I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then suddenly they throw up everywhere. But like, when that happened, I have to leave the room because if someone is sick in front of me, I, I'm, I'm going to be sick myself. So I'm literally just like leaving the room and I'm like, I just I just can't because the smell of sick make me sick. Like, I hope he didn't throw up on her, but I've seen that a million times. Uh, I've seen a guy pissing himself. I've seen a guy throwing up. Um, yeah, it's really not a glam. So, you know, if you consider going into an industry, put in your head that it's really not glam all the time. Half of the time, it's really not glamorous. It's not sexy enough. One of my friends went VIP with this guy that tipped her very well to pour drink all over her head and she was pissed. Well, I would have not accepted that in the first place. Like, why would you want? You, you don't your hair. And that, unless, like, it's an extremely good tip and it's the end of the night and you're like, okay, I'm going to shower now. If it's the middle of the night or the start of the night and all your hair are effed, you know, it's like no and champagne on your hair like that's disgusting right. a guy took me for one hour in vip it was my first vip ever he was from paris at first he wanted a lesbian show but i explained that wasn't possible okay a lesbian show is something that sometimes you send to the guys but it's nothing ever happened it's just i know it's a lie it's a lie guilty uh you make them believe that we're gonna do things and uh between girls uh the most you can do is probably like touch a boob and like slap a bum but yeah so he wanted the full thing and she said like no that's not gonna happen we can't do that so we still went ahead went vip he asked me to pour champagne all over me what's wrong with you guys wanting champagne all over you i don't get it the champagne end up running through my belly to my little thing down there which caused me rash and burn never again oh my god i can't even believe i think it's probably the champagne went all the way to her thingy and she got a rash so moral of the story don't put champagne all over yourself it's gonna stink it's gonna sting and it's gonna you're gonna get a rash no i would i would not accept things like that I'm such a prude i'm such a princess i would not accept champagne all over me a guy came in wanting me to dominate him. Good start. So while dancing, I put my foot on his chest. Then I turned around and I was not facing him anymore. And he started to bark. Oh my God, what the fuck? At first, I thought I didn't hear properly. But then when I turned around facing him again, he was acting like a dog, like he had paws, you know, like this. Like... And he was calling me mommy the entire time, saying, saying sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy. This is freaky. Do you imagine you're dancing and turn around and the guy's like, roof, roof, roof. Guys, go to therapy, not to strip clubs. Like, seriously, what the hell is wrong with this? I'm sorry, but yeah, that's not, I'm sorry, you can say whatever you want, but this is not normal. This is not normal behavior to be like that. Like, why are you woof woofing? You're not a dog. One is into the thing, but go to like a special woman once again. Like, my friend was like, what the hell? And apparently he was nice. He was not rude or not polite, but she was literally thinking like, What's my life? Sometimes, trust me, sometimes you leave the club and you like, you, you, you look at yourself from the outside, like if you're looking at your own self and you're thinking, what am I doing? Is, is this my life? Trust me, it's create lifetime memory that you will never forget. But if someone is woof woofing at me, I, I, I would feel really confused about the humanity. Worst client for me are couples, totally understand, where the woman clearly don't want to be there and get dragged by her guy. Ladies, please listen to me. If you are with your husband, partner, whoever, boyfriend, and he's forcing you and not feeling to go somewhere, club, strip club, swingers club, football, who cares? Stop forcing yourself. I know there is compromise in relationship, but if it's somewhere that makes you feel really uncomfortable, no one should force you to go anywhere. Me, if my guy ever turn around one day to me, be like, let's go to a strip club, I'll be like, you are confused, mate. You are really confused. Never. No chance. First of all, I'm too jealous. And I own it. I own the fact that I'm jealous. Accept who you are. Stop doing things for people. First of all, that probably won't appreciate it. 
and you are your number one fan you are your number one self you know you should put yourself in priority yes unfortunately in life you have to be selfish and if your boyfriend husband or wife is pissed because you don't want to go to a strip club well he's a moron to start with so and because then they take the frustration on the girls and that is really unfairness i have seen that before couples arguing right in front of me because the girl didn't want to be there that's really not a good experience for the lady for the guy and for us it's just rude it's just uncomfortable and like let's avoid drama to start with so if you're a hater and you're not comfortable with yourself because guess what strip clubs are full of like thick girls the girl's gonna have fake tits the girl's gonna have bum the girl's gonna do their hair and makeup it's a place where you would see loads of like pretty girls in a really small space so if you cannot handle that and if you're jealous don't come seriously don't come and then you have the couples that act like the strip club the swingers club and i can't fucking stand that as well please do your business outside we don't want couples that rub themselves that kiss like there is no tomorrow it's disgusting respect us you know it's not that kind of thing don't ask the dancers if they want to come back home with you we are not your toys i'm sure there is application there is clubs made for this kind of thing so Mm, yeah go to this kind of thing because that's not what we want to do i mean most of us that's not what we want to do have couples that spend an entire night kissing and grinding each other and like not taking one dance that's just so rude as well and if you want to do your business go to your bedroom go to your car go go somewhere but not our club please oh. I hate the people that bargain, ask for extra half price and that. And it's usually the guys that never spend loads of money straight away. You don't even speak to them for two minutes like, oh, this is a happy ending. Oh, can I get a half price? Mate, maybe if you spend like two hours, the lady is going to do a price for you or the club is going to offer you champagne or shots or whatever. But you think by not spending anything or even one dance, you're going to get something cheaper. Like stop, stop being cheap and even cheaper than what you are and stop asking for extra. Those days, sorry, but like getting girls to do these things for money, it's so easy. It's like, it's easy access, fortunately, unfortunately, well, I don't know. But like, the world is your oyster. Why coming to bother us dancers? Go straight away to a woman that provides this kind of service. It's really easy, you know? You've got many websites, so yeah, stop annoying us. Yeah, next one. Guys that take their thing outside their pants. Do you realize that make you a freak? That make you um, an offender. That It's not because it's inside the club that doesn't make you a weirdo and, um, yeah, not a good man. It, it's not like open bar to everything. You still need to respect the girls. You still need our consent, you know, and, and this is not the place to do this. So clearly you do this against our consent. It's not the place to do this. So if you think it's normal to do this, that that shows a lot about the way you are in your normal life. So, yeah please don't do this it's not that kind of place we are meant to dance we are meant to get undressed not you a businessman came in took me in vip and so while we were in vip he removed his pants and he had suspenders on okay all right another one that's into something it's like when they come to these places fair enough fair enough if it's a place of fantasy you can talk about your fantasies and that but like sometimes it's going a bit too far like the woof of thing and now the suspenders first of all you're not allowed to get undressed i think i had one like that as well that asked me if i could sell my underwear so he could wear it what is it with men can someone let me know in the comment what is it what's the psychology behind it i think loads of men should go to a therapist and not a strip club. Suspenders, interesting. I don't think I would. I forgot one of my story, a really weird one. I'm not gonna go too much into detail because I think this is too much for the internet. There was a guy that was coming with like chocolate bars, like lions, uh, smiles, uh, smiles, Mars sneakers and them. And he wanted me and my friend to force feed him eating those chocolate bars and drink champagne and smoke cigarette. Yeah, yeah. There's things that I can't erase from my memory. Anyway, that was it for today and also little disclaimer please it is not because i talk about the industry i used to be in that i am promoting this industry it is just um this is just entertainment it's also educative i do not want youngers to think this is amazing because it's far to be amazing there is really weird things going on sometimes i have been lucky that i had overall a really great experience i always went to like really nice clubs but i know it's not the case for every single club so please if you want to start this job make sure you are checking that the clubs are clean do not do anything stupid do not trust anyone do not get drunk too much do not use 
other things so yeah this is not me promoting my job or glamorizing far from it do not believe everything you see on the internet and make sure you look after yourself leave me your comments down below if you want to see more of these kind of things i think i'm gonna do another crazy stripper story but like with good story this time and yeah leave me a little comment please 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 give me a like and i hope to see you soon take care of yourself and bye bye